Good evening, I am Candace Edwards and I chose the article Reforming Harvard, Cotton Mather on Education at Cambridge. This article was pretty interesting. I became better acquainted with Cotton Mather, a clergyman of the late 1600s, early 1700s, coming from a long line of important, noted clergymen. So this article gives us insight into Cotton Mather's uh, thoughts of Harvard education during a time of presidential shifting. Uh, his father was a president of Harvard and his tenure was pretty criticized due to his frequent absences. Uh, traveling clergyman, pretty important guy, so he was not always in place as others thought he should be. So during this time, uh, the council, the governing council of Harvard thought to place someone at his side in a presidential or vice presidential role. But this person actually took on the duties of the president. Well, this person passed away. And of course, Mather assumed or thought he would be a great candidate to be the next president. Well, he was passed over. And during this time, he writes a nice letter to Roxbury's uh, representative and also pins about 12 rhetorical questions that look at the educational integrity of Harvard. Now, these questions are pretty in-depth. Um, it doesn't take much to see that he's definitely poking at Harvard University. Uh, some of the questions look at the fact that the tutors are not in tune with uh, the pupils, not concerned with their spiritual well-being. Uh, the texts that are being used are not you know, up at the highest level. Uh, is Latin even being taught in a proper way so that the pupils can conversate uh, with a stranger. There are so many things that are addressed in these rhetorical questions. And in the letter that he pins to Roxbury's representative of the general court, he pretty much downplays the new president, John Leverett. And John Leverett is a lawyer. And Mather points out, how dare you choose a lawyer who doesn't have any type of training in ministry or theology. How dare you choose him to run such a school that prides itself on theological education. So it's pretty interesting uh, to see his thoughts there, uh, to have his voice uh, heard. He's not afraid to voice that opinion. So I, I really love that about him. And I took a chance to look at other texts to try to get a little more information about Cotton Mather. And what I found was a text called Cotton Mather and His Children. So it gave a little more insight of his personal life, uh, his upbringing, how important his father Increase Mather was in his life, uh, how he valued fatherhood time with his children, uh, which probably came from, you know, uh, his father being away so much. Uh, so that was pretty interesting. Uh, I talked about his education. Education, uh, he was educated at Harvard, but it talks about believing in education at the school, but also a lot of education happening at the home, which I could definitely see from a guy like Cotton Mather with such a powerful voice instilling that same type of voice in his children. Another text that I looked at um, called A President Accepts looks into John Leverett, which is the president that Mather is pretty much uh, upset about. But in this short article, uh, it looks into the process that the council goes through to bring in John Leverett as the president. And what I thought was interesting is there's so much conversation that goes on in Latin. So I thought it was interesting, um, John Leverett, Harvard educated as well, for him to see what a Harvard education 
allows one to do and the standard of Harvard education, but it was presented in uh, the Cotton Mather on education at Cambridge. It was presented that under John Leverett's tenure, the education or the well-being of the school actually declined. Uh, there were very, um, very much concerns about what was going on at the school under John Leverett's tenure. So I thought it was interesting to see him as a graduate, to see that he's able to speak so, so well in Latin, to see what the school had done for him, to see its importance, its standards, and to not maybe uphold those during his tenure. So I thought um, all three of those sources were really good to let me see a little bit more about Cotton Mather. Uh, thank you for your time.